the synthesis of yoga and the life divine. Hello, this is Chris speaking. Wake up with a video about Shurabindo's synthesis of yoga and the life divine. Which book is about what? There's a video for everyone who's interested in Shurabindo but not yet a Shurabindo long term student. In my view, and also in the view of many others, Shubindo wrote three main works. Savitri, The Life Divine, and The Synthesis of Yoga. Most of Shubindo's books were written when he moved to French India, mainly Pondicherry. They were all written more or less parallelly. So it's very difficult to read one of them without the other and get the whole picture. The why, the why, why it is necessary, why it makes sense to walk the spiritual path as an individual and collectively as a human race is explained in the life divine. The how, how to walk this path, practically, is explained in the synthesis of yoga. And Shobindo's experiences that he had walking this path as far as humanly possible is also in Savitri. It is partly in the synthesis of yoga, partly in the life divine, partly in the letters on yoga and the record of yoga and other books, but mostly in Savitri, because in Savitri, which is an epic poem, it was not about explaining things, but just describing the places he went, the stages he went through, the experiences he had, which are usually beyond words, it cannot be explained, but as many other poets have found out already, poetry can partly capture what logical words cannot. And Savitri is probably also the book he worked on the longest until his dying breath. He worked on it again and again and again, fine-tuning it. While the synthesis of yoga and the life divine he wrote quite early on and then only um, improved on it a little bit later. Not significantly, just also a little bit of fine-tuning. Um, I will, in future, in the next few months, try to finish The Life Divine, but I haven't even finished uh, the first volume yet. It's very, very dense, and it's very hard to summarize it and not lose anything. And the further I get along in summarizing and explaining the life divine, the more difficult it becomes without also doing the same with the synthesis of yoga. So logically, mentally, it kind of would make sense to first finish the life divine and then do the synthesis of yoga. But practically... My feeling is I have to do it parallelly, just as he wrote them parallelly. It's, um, he, he just uh, references too much without uh, explicitly saying so. So apart from finishing The Life Divine, I will already start on summarizing the synthesis of yoga, which is also a monumental task, 
but it has to be done. Both books are really, really good. And I think that Shobindo was really, really far ahead of all other teachers at his time or any <coughs> later time and also most teachers before him, except Meher Baba. He was, in my view, the only one at the same stage. I don't know if they had any contact and if they didn't, why they didn't, no idea. I wasn't there at the time. But they talked about more or less the same thing in a little bit different terms. Mayor Baba had his three spheres, the gross, the subtle and the mental and so on. And Shubindu was more verbose. He was a wordsmith. Well, Mayor Baba refused to speak and only dictated a few things uh, with writing and with his little calculator. But for both of them, it was about evolution, evolution of consciousness, evolution of the world, evolution of the humanity, of the human race. Both of them gave theoretical explanations and both of them gave practical explanations. I already summarized one of the chapters of the Synthesis of Yoga about the master of works, but now it's time to start from the beginning. And that's what I will do the next few months. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on Patreon. Thank you for all my Patreons. Thank you for subscribing and hitting the bell button, sharing the videos with your friends. See you soon. And good luck on your path.